What's this? Oh, wow, what's that? That is my York 210 compressor I just got off eBay. Got a good deal on it. I got the fittings for it. I got it bracketed to the bike. It's on the wheel. Now, let me uh, let you guys, cue you guys in on a few information, a bit good of information here. The pros and cons of this setup. First, I'm going to tell you the pros. It's very, very quick. It's it, it will put it will quickly get air into the tank, like no tomorrow, like this. Even if I'm not riding fast, it will put air into the uh, air tank relatively quickly. Now, let me tell you the cons. This will only go up to about 50 to 70 psi max. And when it, once it reaches that, what happens is, see I got a vacuum cleaner belt around the pulley to touch on the tire <clears throat> so I don't overheat the tire. What happens is, it gets harder and harder to turn the more pressure it's in the tank. Well, uh, me being young and me not knowing that, I guess I learned the hard way. Well, you know, I'm young, I'm learning still. So the tire started skidding. Basically, uh, I'm going to have to rig something else up. A pulley system. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to remove this bracket. Take this off. This comes right off. This has the compressor sitting on it. And just move it back here. And I'm going to have to go to a bicycle shop and find a tire like this, like a, off of a kid's bicycle that has a uh, gear on it, which would be good. And go to the junkyard and find a serpentine pulley off of a General Motors car. And I have a fan belt on my truck that I can use and use that as my belt. But I'm going to have to get a smaller pulley to turn that pulley. Like attach a pulley right here somehow. But I'm going to have to get a different type of wheel for one. So that is my project.